We're going to graph uh, or begin graphing a library of functions that you should know. Functions that you don't plot anymore. We're going to plot them the first time, but after that you should just know exactly what they look like. And we're going to start with the, the um, easiest one. You probably already know what this looks like, but some people may have forgotten. And just for completion's sake, I'm not going to leave out old y equals x squared. And so I've got a bunch of x values here. And I'm going to quickly get the y values, and we're going to look at what you probably already know, which will confirm that. So the first number I've got here for x is negative 2, and I put negative 2 in there. What I do is I take negative 2 and I square it. Remember, the square also applies to the negative as well as the 2, so I get positive 4 when I do that. If I put negative 1 into for x, I will get positive 1. Of course, 0 squared is 0. 1 squared is 1, and 2 squared is 4. So we have these set of points, and I think this is going to convince you that, well, of what you already know, that if I go over here to negative 2, I'll be up at 1, 2, 3, 4. Here it is, that point, negative 1 and 1, 0 and 0, and then 1 and 1, and 2 and 4. Here, I'll get this point here. And we'll play connect the dots and we'll get something like this. And if I went to 3, it would go up to 9. Or if I went to negative 3, it would also go up to 9. So it goes and it uh, grows without bound on either side. And this is the old familiar letter U, so to speak. And you remember it is. That's how you kind of remember the graph of y equals x squared. It hits down here at what, it, at what it's called its vertex or its minimum value at 0 and 0. And it goes this way to infinity and this way to infinity. But there it is plotted, and if you need any convincing that it uh, uh, behaves that way, you can go to your calculator and take a look. And later on in calculus, you'll learn that this is a this is called concave up, and it's it's, it's always decreasing here, always increasing there, and you'll see it uh, shown in very good detail with a proof. But um, right now, I think that's good enough. You know what the U looks like. Now we're going to go over here and just take your time moving the camera. We're going to go over here and look at the y equals the square root of x, another one of the uh, functions that you should just know how to graph. There are about six of them or so uh, that you should know, and this is certainly one of them, just off the top of your head without having to plot. Of course, we're going to plot in the beginning. We're going to look at the domain of this thing. It's obvious that x has to be greater than or equal to zero because if it's a negative number, we'll get, um, we won't get a real value. We'll get a complex or a, an imaginary number there. So, in fact, we'll get i if we put negative 1 in. And uh, so we have to keep greater than 0. And the way we write that in interval notation is uh, it can be 0 because the square root of 0 is 0. And it can go to uh, positive infinity. And that's our domain. So if I put 0 into the square root, put it in for x, I see I get the square root of 0, of course, which is 0 because 0 times 0 is 0. The square root of 1, I think everybody's familiar with that. What number do you multiply times itself in order to get 1? Well, 1 is that number. And then the square root of 4 here. I'm putting 4 into the square root. And uh, of course, that's 2. All right, and then I'm going to do the square root of 9. And I get 3. I don't get uh, plus or minus anything. Remember, the square root uh, symbol is a function. For every x value, I get exactly one y value as a positive root. So I've got this all figured out. And I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to sketch these. Don't need really much of a negative side since x has to be greater than 0. And I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, maybe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'll go out to 6. I'm going to have to go out to 9 eventually. But let's see what happens. I have 0 and 0. I have 1 and 1. And I go out 1, 2, 3, 4. And I have 4 and 2. There's another point. And if I go all the way out to 9, let's see, uh, five, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I'll finally get up to 3 here. I'll be out here. And if I connect the dots, I get something like this. Okay, I'll make that dot connect. You know, and if I go out to 25, I'll have 5. And it keeps rising, this function. It's always rising, but it rises very slowly as it goes out that way. And you should learn this function. I, I hesitate to use the word memorize. You don't really memorize it. You just kind of know how it goes. And if somebody were to ask you, say, well, graph y equals the square root of x, see, you would just go like this. I mean, just this fast and go, well, it looks like this. Well, we rolled out the bump there, right? It looks like that. That's what I mean by curve sketching as opposed to 
plotting points. So we'll never have to plot points on this again.